Hello everyone, it is Tom back here today with another video and today we're taking a look at one of the Call of Duty Spring 2015 uh, five figure packs. Now it's actually really lovely and sunny here today so um, I'm quite happy to be getting out and reviewing this for you guys to be honest because usually I'd kind of be like oh it's a bit cold in the conservatory which is where I film my reviews, I'll have to dress up warm and make sure I'm all geared up before I can go and do a review but today it's actually quite nice I'll just move this into camera for you so you can get a rough idea of what you get and hopefully stand them up properly the figures feel a little bit sticky today because it is warm and they do tend to feel a bit iffy when it's warm but it's all good um, we'll leave that guy <laughs> lying over for now okay so this is one of the two new 2015 troop packs the other one was the ghost pack I did not manage to find that unfortunately but uh, as soon as I pick it up I'll make sure to bring you guys a review on it because I'm sure you want to see that one and this is the Icarus Troopers this is for ages 10 and up it has 145 pieces and you'll find it for about £15 here in the UK and this is really designed to be a companion piece to the Odin set it is again based on the first mission from Advanced Warfare and I also think the last mission is it Clockwork? I can't remember what the last mission's called but there's a bit where um, actually the Icarus Shuttle uh, as it's codenamed goes up to basically take out the Federation equivalent of Odin so this could easily be inspired by that mission as well and um, without further ado we'll jump into it get five figures uh, all kind of have slight differences but the rough look of them is the same our first look here is at a federation astronaut in cream with black breathing gear a gold visor a silver and white SMG a nice federation logo on the shoulder and the really nicely sculpted astronaut backpack this is pretty much the same figure as we got in the Odin space station just with a different coloured uh, piece of breathing equipment the next figure is basically identical he just has the cream coloured breathing equipment and a kind of tan and white SM, uh, AK-47 with the scope on top which is quite nice so I won't give you a 360 look at him because he's basically the same but we get two federation soldiers we then get one astronaut with black uh, grey kind of breathing gear actually not as black as the other one now I look at it uh, a black visor, a white and tan sniper rifle, the US flag on the shoulder and on the backpack and he's in actual white instead of the cream that the Federation soldiers are in if I compare them you can see the difference and this is basically identical to the US soldiers we get in Odin apart from the colour of the breathing equipment here we then get two more astronauts uh, both of whom are slightly different from one another I'll just peel them off the display stand for you guys and we'll take a look at that after um, so the first one we get is these are both US astronauts first one white breathing equipment, silver visor black US flag and a flag on the backpack and he has a white uh, M4 carbine and the important thing to note here is that he has silver straps there then the other figure we get is exactly the same except for the fact that he has black straps here and he has a silver and white SMG so that is still quite cool uh, I like that we get two of them in the set the only thing I don't like is the astronauts in Odin had black visors and it doesn't make much sense to me that astronauts from the same faction would have different coloured visors then the last little thing we get here is a small display base with rods to put astronauts on, they're quite nice, two of them and this little satellite build here, not much goes into it see some nice afterburners there, a nice little vent, a light, a satellite prong piece solar panels which are actually adjustable and you can actually swivel it and angle it up and down which is quite cool uh, I kind of imagine this as being something like a uh, orbital UAV or something like that, just something cool to tie into the game uh, I'll put some astronauts back on here for you guys just so you've got something nice to look at in the background while I give you my overall thoughts on this if you guys are wondering uh, where I got the spring 2015 sets here in the UK uh, 
I actually got them in Asda Living. My local Asda Living had uh, a lot of the Halo sets in stock. I picked up most of the spring sets. They had Fire Team Eagle and Sierra, which I got in the NMPD customizer pack. And then they had these guys as well. Uh, so shout out to Ben Knowles. He's a new content creator here on the SS Motion. Expect content from him soon. Uh, he was the one who basically said, look, you can get these at Asda. So I went and picked them up and I'm really, really happy with them. Uh, overall, I think it is a very nice troop building pack, especially if you've got Odin. They go very nice hand in hand and it does allow you to create some really cool uh, space setups. And the astronauts are always very nicely moulded, which is quite cool. But there's not as much variation here as some of the other troop packs. I mean, if we just take a look at the jungle troop pack here as an example... You can see a lot of variation, and then if we come back here, it's pretty much identical. So if you're looking for variation and kind of different unique troops, this really isn't the thing for you. But if you've got uh, Odin or you just like the astronauts, then I definitely recommend picking it up. So anyway guys, that has been another review with me, Tom, from the SS Motion. I hope you have enjoyed it. And just at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little update of the COD table now. So... You can see I've kind of been buying a lot more, two tanks and two Humvees, the helicopter, the ghost unit, dome, the claw, and then a couple of APCs. So I actually have bought a lot more now and I will try and do a full collection video at some point in the future if you guys would like to see that. So anyway guys, this has been another video with me, Tom from the SS Motion. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please remember to like, favourite and subscribe and until next time guys, have a great week.